the race we've been looking forward to all year, the Prix de l'Art de Triomphe. Mark Winstan is here to sort out the winner for us, hopefully. You've been uh, up burning the midnight oil with this one, haven't you, Couch? No. Yeah. Um, your first fancy, Nathaniel, doesn't take part across the ground. So. Thanks a lot. Which one are you leaning towards now? Isn't it like the old, the two old gits in the old uh, Harry Enfield when they burnt all the money when they got 58 no score draws? I was like that with Nathaniel. We are bloody never any post back. I never any. I've just forgotten it, Rob. Thank you for reminding me. What a very nice chap you are. Well, made so, a fleas of a thousand camels infect certain parts of your body for that. And the winner is? Hirono de Moa, the Japanese horse. I do like this animal. Uh, it's drawn brilliantly, still one. Uh, the draw is massive here, Rob. Seven. Uh, the last seven winners are all winning single figures. I think that rules out Sarafina, 13. Also, only one filly in 17. You've got to be really top class for these. Zakaba's probably one of the best horse I've ever seen in my life. She's the only one to won it since Urban C in 90. I think Sarafina's got it all to do from 13. So you think in 14. Don't fancy Snow Fairy. Been a big gamble on her. I can't really see why. I just remember when I tipped midday to beat her in the Nassau. I made it look slow, didn't it? I've never had Snow Fairy as an art winner, have you? Um, she doesn't appeal to me. No, but no. mind you, neither does your selection. No, that's fair enough. How many Japanese horses have won the arc? They've gone close. They haven't had many runners, but they've gone real close. They okay. had the second last year, Nakayama Fiesta. Uh, Naki Fiesta. Yeah. Deep uh, Impact was close, I suppose. Deep Impact was very close. It got, only got beat uh, under a length. Uh, and again, they don't have many runners, but the ones they do, they target this race. And this year, Rono de Moore won a group one in um, Kyoto, I think. Or it was a group two in Kyoto. And he's won a group one and a group two on very fast ground in Japan. It does get very quick out there. Uh, then he had a break, he didn't run since May, then he came over and ran in the foyer, was second at Sarafina, beating a short neck in the slowly run race, we wouldn't suit him, he was a two mile, two mile great group one winner in, in Japan. And then he's been training out in France, he stayed in France, he hasn't gone home, he's been working really, really well, I've been told, uh, mm -hmm. at Shanti, uh, uh, by the way, sorry. Never mind. It's slightly distracting. I look foolish enough as it is, you know, nothing else can be worse. Okay, workforce, um, same stall as last year. Uh, again, you know, very, very hard to repeat, you know, is he another alleged? Uh, oh, he's not had an ideal preparation for this. He didn't last year, to be fair. But mm. one one thing's different this year, Robert, isn't it, about workforce? You know what it is? The ground. Exactly, mate. The most important thing. I mean, Michael Stout took this all the way to America and, mm. and pulled him out. It wouldn't surprise me if Stout, he pulls this out. Mm. I've got to say. So if we just go through them quickly, then, Sarafina, you can't have cost the draw. And also the, the stat, and also oh, the, the price. The Philly stat. I mean, she was, so seven, she was seven to two, Rob, Sarafina, before the draw, and the, and the Japanese also was 16 to one. And I thought the Japanese also was some cracking value there. Okay, so you think... Again, drawn 14, I just think last time the run with Snow Fairy, don't know about it over the trip neither, but the draw has totally put me off it. OK, Gallicova. Gallicova. She's got again, a good draw. A very good draw. Ground totally against yeah. her. Again, half sister uh, to a Goldie Cobra, of course, but I think they're very worried about her with the ground. OK. Workforce we know about. Meandra. Meandra. Again, Andre Fab, Tremendous record in the race. Three-year-old. His horses were supposed to be all wrong at the trials, wasn't they? Now, they've got two weeks to get them right. I don't know whether he has. I don't know whether this horse is as, as good as this made. A second reliable man last time. Mm. have to improve to beat that. That, of course, wants Matt's off the ground, reliable man. That's what yeah. the trainer's been saying. Been a big drifter all week. OK. Uh, Snow Ferry we know about. Mass Marvel drawn five. Yeah, again, you know, an afterthought, isn't it? I can't yeah. have too much. I don't remember any St. Ledger winners coming on in, you know, winning this race. And okay. again, Nathaniel was a stable number one, and now suddenly Mars Marvel turns up. You know, it's an after. You don't have afterthought wins the arc for okay. me. Okay, so reliable man you've mentioned here. Yeah. I know De Moor, you fancy is the I'll winner. I've tipped off that. There's a Dream, the, um, the uh, German challenger. Again, he wants Matt's off the ground for me. Nakayama Fester. Again, you see, he was second in the race last year. He was fourth oh, yeah. in the foyer behind Irano de Moor, but he got injured in the Japan Cup last year. And I don't think he's the same horse as he was when he came here last year. All right, Hirano de Moor's improving four-year-old, I must point out. All right. Uh, St. Nicholas Abbey, the two, the, what about the two um, Aidan O'Brien horses, St. Nicholas Abbey and Treasure Beach there? Again, St. Nicholas Abbey, you know, shouldn't have beat a midday for me in a coronation. I'll, keep, I'll take that to my grave, as you know. I don't think he's good enough. He was beaten third in the King George. I don't think he's a good enough animal. You know, everyone went mad about that Chester run with Harris Tweed. That form done looks so good now. And he ain't as good as first realised as a two-year-old, is he? So okay. I can't have him, he's not good enough. And I know you fancy Treasure Beach well, I don't, at a massive I think, price. I think he might be a bit of a forgotten horse. Won two Group 1s, he liked the ground. Yeah, I think the, the, the trouble is, it beat um, the Group 1 race, it won the Irish Derby, it's not worth a carrot, is it? It beat Seville in that, and that form's been let down a, a fair bit. But second in the English Derby, they never really thought it was a good horse, have they? It's not a Dylan Thomas or something like that, is it? No, I can see it maybe plugging on into a Where's place. Where's it drawn, Rob? It's drawn 12. Yeah, not good, is it? And your mate's on board, any he? Conor Donny. Yeah. So you have then uh, Hirano de Moore as a likely winner, with Meandra, I suspect, as a possible challenger. Well, you think Meandra's a possible challenger. Well, they're, they're my two against the film, Meandra and Treasure Beach. But well, I'm not having two, two against the film, I'm just having one. I've okay. just gone all in on the Japanese, also right. 16 to 1. I think okay. it's a tremendous chance. 
again, your third point about the Japanese, but they haven't had many runners no, in the club, and they've gone close. Okay. And they'll say the all seconds, a similar profile as the one last year. And he got beat ahead by Workforce, you remember, one beat him far. And that 16 and one's massive for me, Rob. Okay, so there you have it. But Yen's on. Yeah, he's Yen's on Hirano de Moor. <laughs>